I'm a Pisces. I was born March 3rd. I was born at 9 a.m. I love bananas. I eat bananas with everything. Um, I eat ketchup with everything. I like eggs with tortillas in them. I watch Pretty Woman four times in one week. I love watching movies. It's my favorite things to do. Disney movies are my favorite movies. My favorite Disney character is Peter Pan. Camila Cabello has been living in the UK temporarily since she's filming Sony's upcoming Cinderella adaptation movie there, but it's not her permanent residence. We know her man Shawn Mendes just flew all the way from Toronto to celebrate her 23rd birthday there with her too. I don't think Camila has moved to Toronto with Shawn just yet, but she did purchase her family a home in Miami some years back and has her own multi-million dollar home in the Hollywood Hills. In this video, I'll be giving you all the details on Camila's current LA mansion and much more. Camila Cabello, which I wasn't sure if I was saying correctly. So it's it's so it's Camila. Camila. Cabello. Cabello. Yes. Is a singer, songwriter, and actress who's only 23 at the time, but has already found plenty of success. She's Cuban American and was born in Cuba, but spent most of her childhood raised in Miami, Florida. These days, she's probably spending most of her time in Hollywood and Toronto, thanks to her boyfriend. Camila rose to fame from being a member of the girl group Fifth Harmony, formed on the X Factor back in 2012, but I think we can all agree that her career has really taken off more since becoming a solo artist. Her debut album reached number one on the Billboard charts, and its first couple singles topped the charts in many different countries. Camila has billions of streams, multiple awards, even a few Grammy nominations, and it's clearly it's just the beginning for her. Despite the fact that she's only been making music for a few short years, Camila's estimated net worth is already at 14 million. I'm sure if she keeps landing big movie roles after Cinderella comes out next year, she can add those gigs to her sources of income too. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna be looking at where Camila Cabello calls home, including her impressive Sunset Boulevard home and more. I've also been wanting to do one on her man Sean Mendes, and even though he lives in my city, I have no luck finding where. If any of you guys know, tell me in the comments. And if you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post, you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on stars like Shakira and Zendaya recently, and we'll have links to some after this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Just to get a bit of a background, Camila has moved around and traveled a lot since she was just a baby. Born in Havana, Cuba, which she even dedicated a hit single to, she moved back and forth between there and Mexico City. If you're wondering why, it's because her father Alejandro was Mexican. When Camila was five years old, she then relocated with her parents and younger sister Sofia to Miami, Florida, and got her American citizenship in 2008. Now she has dual citizenship. Although Camila has her high school diploma these days, she dropped out in grade nine to pursue her singing career, and the rest was history. Of course, her path led her to Los Angeles, where most celebrities call home. Before I show you Camila's beautiful estate in the Hollywood Hills, like I mentioned before, she's currently staying in England, long enough to rent a house, and she's filming an entire movie in the area. So busy. I've been looking at your Instagram, I've been in Paris, in Miami. Tell me yeah. what's been going on the last few weeks. Well, first of all, how adorable are my, how I are, like, uh, you guys are just so fun. I'm so happy. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to answer a question. Gorgeous. I'm just so excited to be here. I'm she recently invited Vogue magazine into the house. And although we don't know the details of the home, we can see what it looks like. First off, her mom opens the door. So it's safe to assume she's staying with Camila there. Oh, hey there. Hey. I'm here to interview your daughter. Oh, please, come in. She's okay. right in the room. All right, let's do it. Catching a glimpse inside the house, it looks spacious but cozy at the same time. The design seems a bit traditional, and in the video, Camila shows us the dining area, the kitchen, and more of the main living area. The house Camila is staying in during her time in the UK is in the countryside, so we know the star gets some privacy and quiet time to rehearse her lines for Cinderella. In fact, the home itself looks like it could be in a fairy tale, like a cottage, just much larger. We also know there's an indoor-outdoor room, and the backyard and outside area is huge. We can see a large patio, multiple gardens, and a well-kept lawn. Not to mention, there's a pool. But by the looks of Camila's winter jacket and the time of year it is, I don't think she'll be hopping in to swim anytime soon. 
So since we don't know anything else about Camila's UK rental, or at least I don't, let's finally take a look at her actual house in Los Angeles. Apparently this is the perfect starter home for the 23 year old, but I'd say that's selling the place short. Camila bought her house for 3.38 million from a famous Bollywood star Uday Chopra. Her Mediterranean style villa is located right in the Hollywood Hills above the Sunset Strip and in the heart of the LA action. Of course this area is full of fellow celebs, but Camila's closest neighbors include Queen drummer Roger Taylor and Adam Lambert. The house was originally built in 1977, but has been remodeled multiple times since. Although Camila is in a prime location, like most celebrity homes, it comes with perfect privacy and it sits quite high up the street. Although the front of the home is visible to those passing by, it's still covered with tall trees. There's also a gated and camera watched courtyard you must enter before even reaching her glassy front door. Camila's Hollywood house is 3,570 square feet and has four beds and four baths. When you get past the courtyard and double car garage out front, you're led inside to the bright and open entryway with sand colored tile floors. Then there's the sunken family room with fireplace and hardwood flooring and a dining room with space for plenty of guests. The kitchen has been fully redone and has new appliances, a bar style seating and more. The main living spaces offer plenty of natural light too thanks to the windows and glass doors all around. In fact, there's a corner of glass walls that opens right up to the outdoor space from this part of the home. The one couch and lounge area is so close to the patio, it's essentially an indoor outdoor room and you could even touch the pool. Moving upstairs in Camila's LA home, the three bedrooms have ensuite bathrooms. Her master suite is obviously the nicest though, featuring hardwood floors, a fireplace, and in the bathroom, a large tub and dual vanities. According to the listing, Camila also has a fourth room handy which can be used as an office or as a fourth bedroom. Even for staff if she chooses. Outside of the house, the backyard is pretty cozy. Although some may say it's small, the space does fit everything one may need and for first home, I'm sure it's more than enough for Camila. The yard is equipped with a fire pit, separate fireplace lounge, and all fresco dining area. Of course, she has a salt water plunge pool so it has all the necessities of Hollywood living. Even though Camila's house may not look as expansive as some celebrity mansions, I still think it's perfect. It has everything you could need and the design of the house is cool and impressive enough for a 23 year old celebrity. So now we've seen where Camila Cabello calls home in the Hollywood Hills as well as a small glimpse of her temporary UK home. Although her house in LA is gorgeous, it's not over the top or too massive for her, so I think she's still a bit down to earth. What do you guys think of her place? And her LA real estate is not all Camila owns. Although I'm not sure of the house itself or how much she paid for it, even before buying her current home, she made sure her fam had a place. Sources say Camila bought a family home in her hometown of Miami, which we can assume her parents live in most of the time. She's also been seen going back to visit and spending time there pretty often. Even Sean has been spotted there with her more than once. Do you know that Abuela has been taking pictures of you? She does know how to spoil the fans. This is my grandma. My grandma is the internet. Here she is inside the internet. In 2018, Camila was still living with her family in the house and she said she was so happy she's able to give back to her parents through buying a home. Camila explained, It's amazing that I get to do that. It's me and my whole family who lives there. Having their own private pool at the house is also her favorite part. She said, I've never had a pool in Miami before. It's really nice because before I would have to use the community pool and people would recognize me and start singing to me. Camila has also posted herself swimming at her Miami house during the visits home, so we know that's true. If you guys know where her Miami family home is or what it looks like, let me know. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our recent Ben Affleck house tour, Angelina24 said, This is the first time I like all of the celebrities' houses. I love the look, the colors, and the feel of them. If I could, I'd buy them. Thanks Angelina, I guess that means Ben has good taste. On our Jeff Bezos house tour, SK Metal 7 wrote, He overpaid for $165 million. I want my own island. I can't say I disagree. $165 million is an insane price to pay for any mansion, whether you're Jeff Bezos or not. I wonder why he hasn't bought his own island yet. And finally, on our Jessica Simpson before and after video, Angela Silver commented saying, I read it. The book is great. She is beautiful and an inspiration. I'm currently reading her book now too, and I'm only on the first three chapters, but it's so good already. I think Jess is great. Too. All right guys, that's all I could find on Camila Cabello's starter home in LA and where else she's been staying. Did you guys like her Hollywood Hills house? What was your favorite part? I think it's a good size. I guess it sucks that the property outside isn't bigger, but she does have a gorgeous pool, so that's all that matters. 
As usual, let me know down in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll be seeing you all in the next vid. Bye!